Okay, today on the Ecstatic Productions channel, we're talking sublimation patches. Yes, sublimation patches. And the first thing you have to do is have a sublimation printer, like we have from Sawgrass. And uh, so we have a good sublimation printer. We printed out our transfers, and now we're going to make some oval patches. So what kind of material do we need to do that? And we're talking about making these patches from scratch. So first thing we need, poly twill, 100% polyester twill fabric. That's what you need. That's what sublimation needs. So there's some new technologies out there right now where people are using different stuff to make sublimation here. But that's the way you should be trying these patches out. And that's sublimation patches onto 100% polyester. Okay, let's talk about the atoms I have in front of me. First of all, I use a lot of times is the uncoated 100% polyester twill. And then I add my thermo adhesive to it. Then I take it over to the cutter and cut my sizes of the patches. That's the first thing. And go over to our graph tech cutter and we're going to cut ovals or squares or circles, any of those kind of sizes. Of course, we've already made our patches and they have to coincide with the size of the patch has to be cut to fit, of course, the size of the printed sublimation artwork. So that's your printing of the sublimation and we'll show you that in a bit. But let's talk about the products or the sublimation products that you need to have in the way of the actual poly twill. So this was an uncoated poly twill and I've added the thermal film to it. There's a thermal film that's been pressed on the back. About three seconds later that thermal film is pressed on. And remember this was just some fabric and we've added the thermal film to it. Now we can take it because it's really stable. We can take it over and cut our squares, circles, ovals, whatever off of that. Secondly, you can go out and buy some coated poly twill. Now the coated poly twill is this right here in front of me, touching it. And it has sort of like a paper back. And then of course in the front it's going to have your poly twill. Looks almost exactly like that other poly twill. Except for it already has the adhesive on here. This is the adhesive here. So you don't need to put it on there. It's more expensive. It's going to be more money. It already has that in there. So it's going to save you that time of pressing on the thermal adhesive. So this is a product. So we're going to sublimate this. We're going to sublim We've already sublimated this many times before. We're going to try sublimating these other products. The other product we're going to try to sublimate is a PS poly twill. Pressure sensitive poly twill. Now that pressure sensitive poly twill also in white, everything has to be in white of course, comes with a, if you take this off here, you'll see this plastic backing. It's sticky, no adhesive, it has an adhesive on there but that's just for tacking it down. So it holds it in place but this isn't a glue or thermal adhesive, it's not. It's just something to tack it so you can, it'll stay in the proper spot for you. And it has this clear. Now this clear just is on the back. Now you don't want to cut on the cutter with that clear. It slides all over the place. Don't want to cut it with that clear and think that it's going to hold it there and do a good job. It's not. You don't want to, you want to take that clear off there and then you want to stick it on your which I'll show you in a minute. Stick it on your sticky back board and then you're going to actually cut it and then it's going to turn out real nice. But remember if you try it that way it's going to move all over the place. So take off the plastic and we cut two of those also. So we're going to cut two ovals with this material. Two oval patches with this material which is the PS Poly Twill. And then of course we have our regular uncoated with the thermo adhesive on it and we're going to also press a couple of those too. 
Okay, let's talk about the next stage, which is the cutting mat. Of course, you've got to have a cutting mat to do this stuff. Cutting mats are like this. This is a standard grip cutting mat. It has sticky on it. When you peel back the plastic, it's going to be nice and sticky there. So you can place your poly twill down and cut it on our cutting mat. So that's going to load into the cutter and you're going to cut out your templates of the oval patches, the circles, whatever type of patch you're going to have. So that's very important that you have those. They're not that expensive. You always want to have those in the shop and that works great with all the materials that you want to use and not throw away. Use your cutting mat and you can use all those little scraps. That includes your vinyl, that includes your twill, all of it. There's no reason to throw it away with cutting mats. So they do after a while get to the point where then they don't get that sticky in certain areas. So you can spray a little of the spray tack on there lightly and that will hold it in place. When they do get worn out, of course, get more. They're not that expensive. So let's talk about the next thing, which is actually right there. We've set it up when we printed them out, as you can see here. Just like that. And we're going to set that up. We're going to put the tape on there. That tape just holds it in place so it doesn't move when we press it. So we have different types of poly twill. This is the uncoated poly twill. And this is the PS poly twill. And this will be the basic poly twill coated. That means it has adhesive already on it. You don't have to press it on. So you got three items and we want to see the differences in pressing them all at the same amount of time with sublimation and see how they turn out. So you can make a decision for yourself which product to use or just buy a yard of each one and try it yourself and see which one works better for you. Remember, the cheapest of course is the uncoated. But then you're still paying for the thermo adhesive. So plus you're doing that extra stage of pressing it on, which I've done for a long time and it works out fine. Now it looks like the coated is a little thicker even after you put on the uh, thermo film or the thermo adhesive. It's a little thinner than when they send you the coated uh, poly twill. So that seems like it's just a little thicker, and that's good. So let's see how it presses. So we're going to go over to the heat press next. We're going to press these things. Let's see what, see how it turns out. We're just trying to make some sublimated patches, and this is the first stage of it, which is deciding what material you want to use in the way of the poly twill. White, 100% polyester twill material. We'll go over to the heat press. Let's get these going. Now we're going to press our pressure sensitive PS poly twill. Same amount of time, 60 seconds at 400 degrees. Now you can try 45 seconds, but I like to do the 60 seconds. I've done the same on all three types of material. The uncoated poly twill with the thermo adhesive. The coated poly twill and now the PS poly twill. So we're trying to keep them separated so we can see the differences in them. And remember, constant heat is the thing that has to be constant heat. 400 degrees is very important. That's why you pre-press, get that press as hot as you can. Press it for a minute or two with some t-shirt under it, something under it. Get the press really hot and then go into it and start pressing them. Now you can gang these up. So you can do like as many as you can get on a sheet at one time. And once you get it going into production, just keep it going. Remember, let them cool off. If you're using the parchment paper, definitely just let them cool off and then peel them back. Here we go. See, sometimes they'll stick on there a little bit. We're going to let that peel off cool off and then we're going to peel it off and it's going to turn out nice. If you want to press it for a second or two on your material here, which is your silicone um, silicone material, it will flatten it out even a little bit better if you need to do that. 
Yeah, I recommend that you do. Sometimes there's an edge that's up or you want to get it a little flatter to go onto your embroidery machine. You can do that. It's not going to hurt it one bit. These look good. And let's take a look apart. Let's see. Let's let it cool off and we'll take a look at it in just a minute on the Ecstatic Productions channel. Okay, we have some finished samples and then we have a few that haven't been embroidered yet on the outside with the satin border. So you get to see them at the top. We have the uncoated with the thermo adhesive on it. In the middle we have the coated poly twill. And then at the bottom we have the PS poly twill. They all turned out pretty good. And you know, it's whatever works for you, uh, what's cost effective for you. Remember you can buy these products at stalls and they're great at helping you um, and getting you some samples in your hands and getting a yard of each one and trying it yourself. And then you can see you can do sublimation patches or you can do any color patch if you got sublimation. So you can make any color on the inside of a patch just by using sublimation. Or you can just take and cut some vinyl, which is the heat transfer vinyl, and you can press it on there and make any color that way also. So there's plenty of things you can do with these products. And so talk to stalls. They'll help you as much as possible. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And... We'll see you next time on the Ecstatic Productions channel. Subscribe!